Hashmap Megabytes. Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll see how we can use Atlan APIs to push information from sources that are not supported out of the box in Atlan. So let's go to integration, click on new integration. So on this list, we don't see anything to pull information from MongoDB. Let's go to a discover tab and see if anything named MongoDB is accessed. So there is nothing. So let's use API to push MongoDB table information into Atlan. To use Atlan API, we need API key. So let's create one. Go to admin, API keys, generate API key. Here you can give name to API key, for example, API key and generate. So API key is displayed on the screen. You can copy this and this particular key we are going to use into the postman to run API call. So let's move to postman. So this is a list of categories of APIs that are supported by Atlan. So let's go through create asset and create table. So this is a template to create table through API call. So to do this, we require instance ID and API key. So instance ID and API key are required for each API call. So let's put them into environment. So here in the environment, um, select this. So in the environment, you can see a variable instance is already there, then value of Atlan instance is placed. So here another variable API key is already created and the current value of API key is displayed here. Now I'll change this value to an API key, which we create it and then we'll go back to the API call. So now the URL is ready, header is ready. Now let's go to the body of a request. So this specifies a detail information about the entity that we want to push to Atlan. So type of entity is Atlan table and these are the list of attributes that describes a entity. So type name is definitely Atlan table as we want to create MongoDB table into the Atlan. Integration type MongoDB, which is not supported out of the box. So we are pushing information about that integration from API call. Name of the table MongoDB test table and qualified name is a full path of this particular table. So MongoDB and the complete path ending to this table name. You can add a description of your choice to this table. You can change column count. So there are 10 columns and 10,000 rows in that particular table. Then you can update last synced at and updated at as a Unix timestamp. Now we'll send this request to Atlan. Yeah, Atlan has accepted this request and the response came as the table is created. The qualified name of a table is given and the description is given, even a GUID that is the unique identifier for a table is displayed here. The status is active. So let's go to Atlan and see whether that table is visible or not. So let's go to discover tab again and search for Mungo. Now we, we can see that this particular table is created with MongoDB integration. The table name, which we specified in the API call and the number of rows and number of columns, which we specified in the API call. Hashmap megabytes.